Hello there, how's it going on lads? It's been at some time that I couldn't continue with the AR photo course because I was busy with some AI projects. Alright, so what we have done so far in the last two chapters is in the first episode we learned how we can create a custom text and uh, show it in our air camera. In the second episode, we just use a default object uh, and placed in our air camera and also we add an animation or as we add an action or when we tap off tap on that object right that's so that's what we did so far so in this uh, chapter what I what we are going to learn is uh, we will make a custom object which means that we will bring a model uh, from uh, uh, from outside and just we gonna import this in our project and we are gonna uh, render it in our air camera all right so it's gonna be easy as well this chapter so let's start doing it yeah well before starting i just want to make a note that uh, if you haven't watched my first two chapters uh, i have provided its link in my video description please go through that because uh, we are continuing from the previous uh, coso's code so if you have missed the first two chapters uh, you need to go there and come back here all right uh, yeah so well what we are going to do here is uh, we want to make a node so in the previous episode uh, we just made an AR kit sphere so in this case uh, I'm going to bring a node so that uh, this node gonna do the thing stuff all right so I will be going to the source code and uh, this uh, link will be provided in my video description so you just follow me along all right so this is the code uh, AR kit uh, reference node so I'm just copying this I'm going to bring it over here and remove the sphere thing and paste it there and the next step is going to be uh, I'm going to take the child of air scene which is of horizontal on the or cre created so this child thing I'm going to bring it and go back to the source code and just replace it from here only thing is we are just uh, born to show a uh, show feature points other than that everything is uh, same like it's what show feature points is uh, it's gonna give some dotted lines uh, sorry dotted points uh, on the air camera so that's the only difference okay all right that's the only line we're gonna add there and then uh, let's go come back to this uh, air kit created controller so I'm going to take this and uh, let's come to over here so here we add an object and all these things add the node uh, on the node handler or these things so we're gonna remove and replace with this because uh, we're gonna overload overlay a goal over there with the horizontal plane all right so the next final step is uh, I'm going to add a handle anger and also play so I'm just copying this as well and let's come back to here so let's gonna remove these uh, guys from here because it's from the previous thing and uh, just replace this code which i have copied all right the only thing is uh, we need to import this uh, model that's a part we have left before that uh, let me explain you so what we did now okay uh, so we have the uh, AR kit node reference node as I explained already and then we have added a show feature points additionally so that the air camera some dotted line points will be there uh, in the scene all right and then we have added a AR kit controller which is having a add coaching uh, lay which means that it's a kind of instruction to direct the users towards a specific goal so it's kind of a messaging uh, instructor required for the AR sessions and this is an overlay goal which is having some axis like a horizontal vertical any plane so just now I'm going to use this horizontal plane and then I uh, have the air kit controller which is on on add node for anchor which is having the handle anchor which is uh, actually what it does is it's going to add a plane on the surface and and if it is checking whether the node is going to nil or no if it is nil it won't be doing anything but it is check, just a check that uh, whether we have this object or not if in case uh, if it did doesn't uh, good get the reference of this uh, object which we are going to show it uh, it will just uh, 
return from here and it won't do anything else or else uh, if the node is already present it's gonna remove the previous one and show the new one you understand the logic for example if I am placing an object in the camera and when after some time I'm moving the camera and going to check somewhere else in that case uh, it's gonna re while rendering it's gonna remove the previous node and it's gonna place the object again that's it simple and easy and the scaling factor we just want to show it in front of the camera so that's a scaling factor and finally uh, it gonna add a controller with the node from the parent node name which is having the node name this is the node name all right perfect that's it and final step I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the iOS project folder and open it in the finder so let's come over here open the runner X code space and I have in my desktop uh, a model asset which I'm going to drag it over here so click on this and just track all the way around here and make sure that you check the destination added folders and the runner then finish that simple easy all right so here you get there's a new guy over here if you click here you find this dash color it's actually kind of image a texture which I need for the object and this is the model this is the model which I've created and I want this object to bring in our air camera simple and as I said this is the color texture which is uh, uh, overlaid on the top of this object so you need these two both files so and uh, you, you can just uh, you can find this model dot uh, SN assets in my video description so that uh, you just download it and just drag it as I showed you alright so that's it simple and uh, uh, if you want if you want to check about more about how I go how I created this model uh, in my previous AR I use native application videos you can find that how I created the uh, native models and all these things uh, how we can create a model from scratch from the react composer all these things I have explained there you can just go there so I, this one is I already prepared this you just so you just need to download it and just uh, drag it over here and try to run and see what it does okay all right so simple uh, let me run this and check what we have done so far all right before that uh, if you're running the real device just make sure that you have the all the sign-in capabilities enabled if not you need to do that because otherwise it won't run it will show an error okay uh, let's come back to here and see here we go this is what I have after running the code let me play this all right yeah it's asking yeah here there this is an object uh, which we just uh, rendered and it's been showing in down screen so yeah that's it it's very simple and easy correct yeah that's all so that's all in this chapter it's uh, I hope uh, it's gonna be easy for everyone and in my next video uh, I'll be creating a face recognition which is recommended by some of my viewers so that will be coming in the upcoming week so yeah so let's see you on the next video so I'll be doing a face recognition in my next uh, chapter thank you for watching let's see you bye